Yeah. 
are a mighty warrior. Jehovah is your name. We exalt the King of glory. We magnify you, the giver of life. We thank you, God, as we are in your presence. Your presence makes us whole. Thank you for leading, guiding, and undertaking. Thank you, Lord, that as we yield in your presence, you lead and guide us. It is your will that all men must be saved. The word of God is for us a medicine. The word of God is a two-edged sword. The word of God is a hammer. The word of God is bread to the hunger. We thank you, Lord, that we can exalt the King of glory. And we say, God, have your way as we heal in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Greetings to one and all. We thank God that we have another opportunity to come and elevate the name of the Lord. We glorify Him because there is no one that can carry glory like God. And in no man is glory. Whenever there's glory in a man that is not of God, it's not God. Satan himself wanted to elevate himself and he was kicked out of heaven. May the Lord help us to remain humble. May the Lord help us to remain focused. Let the, may the Lord help us this morning that Christ, the hope of glory, will manifest himself in your homes. In Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm reading from the King James Version this morning. Only one portion of scripture, one verse. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray without ceasing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is something that everyone can do. It is something that comes from the heart. To continuously pray. Because that connects us to God. It is prayer that changes things. And it is prayer that brought us thus far. Somebody somewhere prayed for you. Today you are born again. Today you are escaped the hand of the enemy. Because prayers went out for you. And we thank God. That we can say this day. That the word of the Lord. Change us not. Prayer will continue till the end. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Everything will come to an end. But prayer and the word will stand as foundations here on earth. As we worship God. We thank God that we know worship will continue on the other side. Be strengthened in the Lord. Knowing one thing. That God loves you. And God cares about you. Pray continuously. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is a power. That no man can diffuse. When you pray. It moves the heart of God. When you pray from your inward being. When you pray with understanding. That your help cometh from God. He's our helping hand. And it's the source that we are depending on. It is not how much we can debate. It is not how much we can have meetings. Meetings after meetings. To solve problems. Even in this country. Even in the countries of the world. Prayer is the answer. That is why the word of God encourages us. Paul speaks to the people in Thessalonica. He says pray without ceasing. We thank God this morning. We stand on that word that has helped us. It will surely help you today in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We should rejoice more if we have prayed more. If we pray without ceasing, we shall see cause to give thanks for sparing and preventing for common and uncommon Past and present, temporally and spiritual mercies. 
Even what you have prayed for in the past, thank God it shall come to pass. What you are praying for today, have faith that God will hear and move. We know that prayer is a power that can outsmart every other power. That is why in the name of Jesus, when we pray, we understand the power in prayer. Because we are connected to the one that answers prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you are not praying with seriousness of heart, you can miss the benefits of its impact. Pray zealously and pray fervently. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You don't just pray because everybody is praying. But when you pray, you understand, you reinforce the victory. When you pray, you move whatever is standing before you. Because God is a God that answers prayer. We believe God. Whatever burden that you might be facing today, as you pray seriously, if you pray fervently, if you pray with understanding, you don't just pray to a man, but you pray to a man called Jesus, the one who taught us to pray, the Our Father prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is a faithful God. When we pray constantly, tremendous power will be available. And such power is dynamic in its working. Your prayers will, like, will be like a dynamite. There will be explosion. It doesn't matter how hard the problem might be. You, when you are dynamic in prayer, your prayers will scatter every demonic oppression. You will be, your prayers will be like a dynamite. God will move in. God will show up. God will manifest his power. Oh, God will prove himself. That is the God that answers prayer. That is why don't be intimidated by what is going on around you. But keep in prayer. Make prayer your lifestyle. When you pray, God will move. God answers prayer. God intervene. God will show up in a way never expected. But you and I must pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you pray without ceasing, you will have access at all times to the throne room of God. In other words, you can connect 24-7. God is never off duty. The Bible says he doesn't sleep nor slumber. Your prayers will reach God. Let other people sleep. Let they snore. Let they be lazy. But you keep in prayer. If you are determined for your breakthroughs. If you are desperate for God to intervene. Pray at all times. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus. You are a true God. You are the living God. And your presence brings and makes the difference. Help us, Lord, to find in our prayer walk with you. In the name of Jesus. If God is going to hear you in public, you must, he must first hear you in private. When God can manifest in public because of your prayers, it means in private, you strengthen your prayer walk and talk to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is awesome. God is an exalted. That demons and devils must smell you in town or wherever you go. That this is a prayer warrior. This is a container of prayer. How God is alive when you come out of your private talks with God. When you come out of your house, when you come out of your pray, pray closet, and you come out, you declare whatever you see that is demonic, that I am more than a conqueror. I'm not
not a victim, but I am victorious through the blood of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter if you are poor or rich, if you have a job or no job, precious things, prayer can move ahead of you because God answers prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Many battles are lost because we stop too soon in praying. You know, don't get tired. Don't faint. Don't come to a point and say, I've prayed so many a times. Pray again because our God will hear your prayers. His hand is not too short to say. And his ear is not too heavy to listen. God will answer your prayers. And may it be today in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't wait for pressure to mount up before you are praying. It is not the problems that must push you to pray. It is your relationship on a daily walk with God. Daily intimacy in prayer with God. Your prayers will make a way for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is not your talent. It is not your material things. It is not your money. It is God that answers prayer. Pray at all times. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't press God to move at your pace. Make prayer your lifestyle. There are times when situations are so burdensome. And people don't know what to do because they are not used to praying. You see, Jesus had a very short prayer at the grave of Lazarus. He said, Father, I know that you always hear me. And I thank you that you always hear me. May God help us to come to that point and we speak like Jesus spoke. That, Father, I know that you always hear me. And then he command Lazarus to come forth. Every death situation that is buried in your life, that is buried and stones have been there, blocking you to receive your miracle. May the Lord remove it today. May you see God in another way. May you experience the unexperienced. May you have the first testimony of an awesome God in a miraculous way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is faithful. Oh, God is faithful. He works in ways that surpasses human understanding. Pray until you see change. You know, sometimes we pray and we give up. We pray and we become disheartened. We pray and we come to a point that we say we don't know what to do anymore. No, do the same thing you did. Continue in prayer. Pray without ceasing. Pray because we know prayer can move mountains. Our God is able to do the impossibilities in your the impossibilities in your life and make it possible in Jesus mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Prepare yourself when going to pray and focus on God. Let nothing disturb you. Make up your mind. It's my time with God. And in God, I will have my breakthroughs. I will see my victories. I'm trusting God. And I know the time that I've set aside for prayer. I'm going to commit myself. Because God is committed to his word. What he promised, he will do. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't drift away in your prayer lives. You know, don't go and get things. Don't exchange prayer. The material things will pass. But the word of the Lord will stand forever. Trusting God. Depending on God. Prayer, you know, many times people don't want to pray. 
they want to pay. It will not help because the word of God will never change. It will stand for eternity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, God is a mighty God. God is a faithful God. Don't drift away from prayer. People, that is the answer that you have. Remind God of his promises. Stand on the word of God. Be focused. Be positioned. And understand, it is not by might. It is not by power. But it's by the spirit of God that situations will surely change. The spirit of God comes in. When we surrender our totality to God, we say, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are focused on you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you pray, you pray a word based. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Daniel 9 4. Daniel understood the book. And this book has never changed. It is the word of God, all changed by Jesus never. He understood the book, the book of prophecy. The greatest prophecy is the word of God. If you stand on this word, what is said shall come to pass in your life. Don't deviate. Don't drift away. Don't come to a point and say, I am tired. Because you are in need. You need God. And God is waiting for your prayers. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Daniel talked to God about his character. In Daniel 9 verses 4. He said to God when he speaks about the God's character. In other words, he reminds God that God is faithful. And God is true. It means that God cannot change. That is the character of God. Daniel reminds God of his commandments he says when we if we repent that is the word of God he will forgive us and restore us maybe you are there today and you feel that you are in bondage you've been serving God you are in a position right now that you don't know which way to turn turn back to God and say Lord I repent I'm coming back home home in the faith that is your lifestyle when you serve God you serve God because he's God it says God forgive and restore maybe you are down because of this pandemic listen to this God is not down God is not moved by circumstances you can rise up today and once more and say Lord I have lost my job if I have failed you in one or another way, forgive me, restore me, revive me, renew and strengthen my faith in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Daniel remind God of his covenant. Bible of, it, of his covenant. Mercy and grace. Merciful God. He's a gracious God. The enemy will not destroy you. Don't allow the enemy to triumph over you. Rise up and pray again. Say to the Lord, the enemy has messed me up. But I am tired. I am fed up. I'm rising up. And I say, God, mercy and grace. Oh, God, have mercy and grace. I humble myself under your mighty hand. Give me revival. Give me restoration in my spiritual walk with you. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Daniel remind God of his compassion. God is a loving God. He's a kind God. Oh, when you think that God doesn't care about you. When you humble yourself, says, Lord, I pray again. And this time I pray a prayer of repentance. I pray a prayer of God. Uh, of from my nothingness in life. Uh, because it's only you that can make out of my life something. I rise up God. Uh, and I pray again. 
Oh, God will not reject you. God will not uh, uh, chase you away. But he will help you. Because while you are breathing, there is hope. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God's promises are there to encourage prayers. That is why it's important to pray the word. It encourages every time you read the word, you remind God of his promises. God will not disappoint you. He might delay, but it's not denial. God is faithful and God is true. Not to make it needless or useless, his word, his promises will stand forever. Can we have the song that says, he lifted me up from the deep muddy clay. Know where you are coming from. Know that you were nothing, but the hand of God took you. When the clay of life was squeezing you, when the situations of life was oppressing you, he lifted you up. Nobody could help you. Nobody could see you through. Nobody could give you a meal on the table. Nobody could open the door for you. He lifted me up from the deep muddy clay. I don't know your walks of life, but the clay of life wants to hold you back. But the blood of Jesus, the power of God, the anointing of God breaks that yoke today. You're coming out. David says to God, you lifted me up from the deep muddy clay. Oh, no where you are coming from. Don't forget, it was the Lord. Pray again. He lifted me up from the deep muddy clay. And he planted my feet on the king's highway. And this is a reason I sing and I shout. For Jesus came down, and he lifted, he lifted me up. He lifted me up. Oh, he planted my feet. of our prayers. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Matthew 7 verses 7. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be open. Seek and you shall find. We believe God to move. We believe God that answers will reign today. We glorify the King of glory. We acknowledge the lion of the tribe of Judah to roar in your circumstances. There is no one like the Lord. He is God all by himself. Nobody can promote him. Nobody can make him God. And no more can take him down. 
He's God all by himself. Go down on your knees and say, Lord, I remember what you have done for me. Don't allow the earthly wealth, the material things, the ego of life, May God help us not to forget that he picked us from the deep muddy clay and we were praying. We came into salvation through prayer. And that is why we need to hold on to prayer. Pray without season. God is a faithful God. God is a true God. And God is present today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wrong you fuck a mister no chains. The book of prophecy is still standing. No man can change it. No man can delete it. And no man is greater than this word. He's the greatest prophet. We stand on the word of the Lord. That is why it's very important to connect to God through repentance. When we humble ourselves, God will have mercy on us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness and mercy. Right now, I want to pray for those that are backslidden. Those that are not born again. Can we pray a very short prayer? An effective prayer in Jesus' name. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. Or when it's evening in your country, say this evening. Where well, I'm coming before you. And Lord, thank you that you lift me up again in my prayer life. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you. I accept you as my father. And Lord, I thank you that you accept me as your child. I glorify you. I exalt thee. And I thank you that my walk today will be different. Because prayer disconnects us from you. But in you, prayer will flow when we understand the word of God. Take your honor and take your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Can we have another? Uh, I, I want a, 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 a worship song. Jesus,
as we believe God for our country and the countries of the world, that we will see the hand of Jehovah. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or ask or imagine. We pray that there will be restoration in our economy, in the minds, in companies, businesses great and small. We pray for our government and the leaders, all political parties to join together in prayer. It is what is going to help our country and the countries of the world. We cannot stand as a one man. United we stand, divided we fall. We thank God that He, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are in unity. We stand on that triune God. We depend on God this morning and we thank Him. Situations are changing in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for the health of those that are sick. Maybe you're at home, maybe you're in the hospital. May the Lord's hand of healing touch you this morning. May you see God as the greatest healer. Jehovah Rapha. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We pray for the health workers. Those that are helping, those that are helpless. That the hand of the Lord will strengthen them. The blood of Jesus will cover them. And the presence of God will give them courage. In the name of Jesus. We remember our schools, the educators and students. I believe God that all of us will return back to God in prayer. That is the word of God. Pray without ceasing. Pray at all times. Pray at all times. It is prayer that has brought us thus far. And it is prayer that will sustain us. We believe God because there is nothing that man can boast in. Except in the doings of the living God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to pray this morning for the body of Christ. For God to strengthen the body of Christ. To be committed to the word of God. That we should not take shortcuts in the ways of God. That we will not add or subtract. May God help us to remain committed to the word of God. Because the word of God will sustain young and old. The word of God is for us a refuge. The word of God says to us in the book of Proverbs that the Lord is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. May the word of the Lord stick closer this day in your prayer life. May you be strengthened and may you be unshakable. Knowing that he's alive and forevermore. We know that COVID-19 is crumbling down. We know there is nothing that will stand forever. But the word of the Lord is the book of prophecy. Pray without ceasing. God bless you. So. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, servant of the Lord. Uh, we appreciate the Lord. We greet you all once again. We thank you for uh, those uh, prayer requests that you have been sending. Uh, I know I've noticed that most of you, you have sent your prayer request on 
inbox of the page of Shakina Tabernacle. And also some you have been using Messenger. But uh, we are going to take most of those prayers uh, uh, as anonymous. Uh, because we see that when you send them on inbox, we know that perhaps you do not want uh, uh, to be made public but we will then pray for you as anonymous i will just maybe perhaps mention that's the name and not give details uh, in terms of that prayer point but we want to appreciate and thank you for sending those prayer requests and we go into uh, go straight into those prayer requests and and believe the lord with you uh, one of those uh, uh, intentions that uh, the servant of the lord revealed here as as as, as he was ministering uh, that we should always pray pray without ceasing that is the intention of God concerning you. That is what Paul is saying. He's saying actually that is uh, the will of God. That is what God has intended. Three things uh, that you will pick up there that God has intended for you is to rejoice or be joyful, is to be prayerful, and is to be grateful or thankful. Those are the intentions that God has for you as an individual. Now, as you pray uh, without ceasing, as you pray continuously, as you pray regularly, as you continue to pray constantly, know that God Almighty will incline to your prayers, will answer your prayers. We want to pray for you and say thank you. You perhaps are still connecting life. You don't mind sending your prayer request. Send it and God Almighty. Send your prayer request and God Almighty will do you well. And the good Lord will do you well. So here is another prayer point, Mama, here. A very painful prayer point, especially in the times you are living in. This person is saying, is saying, please pray for me. I have a problem with my ex-husband. He's promising to kill me. And I want you to pray that, uh, that the lightning of God will, 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 as he's on that mission of trying to go kill that lady, he will be struck by a lightning of God. And that lightning will turn that person to repentance. Uh, and he's going to be a better man uh, in the future after this prayer. Can you pray for, for that prayer? Mighty Mama? Redeemer, Thank you, Spirit of the we refuse God. that woman will always be targets. In the name of Jesus. We declare, O oh God, go, that the strength Kalabaha. of men yes. that are violent to will be broken in today. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of we Jesus. We pray the heart that God will change that. We pray that God will show up yes, yes. in his power and in his might. In, in the name of Jesus. Every violence, every oh God demonic enforcement be better, be in the hearts right of men. In the name we of Jesus. pull it down. We scatter it. In the name we of Jesus. trample over it. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Father. From, from heaven. Answer the spray. In Jesus name. Thank you Lord Jesus. There will not be another burial. Because of murder. Thank you Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you that you answer God. Amen. Amen. We, we, we believe the Lord that uh, God will intervene for you. Uh, you men who have sent this prayer request. And that God will, be, will spread protection over your life. And God will always watch over you. And the plans of evil that are being orchestrated by this ex-husband, they shall be aborted. And we know that God answers prayer. We have prayed. We trust God to intervene. And to touch the life of this man and transform the life of this man. And God will answer that prayer. Uh, enough is enough. We are living in the times where we see people, uh, men are taking ladies, are taking women, uh, killing them like uh, they are just killing flies. But we want to uh, believe of Jesus. the Lord that God will intervene in our country intervene in Africa, intervene in the world uh, and protect these beautiful creatures uh, and God Almighty will do it. So wherever you are, if you are listening, we pray that also you are going to, uh, maybe you have not yet verbalized your plans, your intentions that are evil uh, concerning women or those that you regard as inferior to you. Uh, we want you to understand that God is watching. The Bible says he never sleeps nor slumber. God is watching and, and is able uh, to divert those plans. He's able uh, to divert Jesus. and he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. So we thank God for that. Uh, hallelujah. We thank God for that, uh, that he's going to do it. Another prayer point is here, Mama, uh, that says uh, I've been uh, praying to stop using uh, traditional witchcraft and mutis and all those. Uh, please pray for me. I feel that I am not praying enough. Uh, this is another person who is quoting uh, the prayer point to stop using witchcraft and mutis. Before any man, it was God. Yes. 
He's the first and he's the last. Thank you, Jesus. No man, no power. Thank you, Lord. No forces of evil is greater than God. Satan challenged God and he fell down. May the Lord grant you grace. Yes. When none of us were born, yes. right or wrong, Thank you, but Jesus. we were born to make choices. Yes, Lord. Make your choice today, Thank you, Christ. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And my prayer the way out to God. Thank you, Jesus. He will help. No powers of evil Thank you, Lord shall Jesus. stand before God. It's a waste of time. It is a waste of using those things. Thank you, Lord. Because God is greater than Thank witchcraft. you, Lord Jesus. Another person is saying, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm really in need of prayers. Uh, the person does not explain what kind of prayers, uh, what is he pr requesting prayers for, but he's saying, I'm in need of prayers. Can mama pray for that person? That whatever that is in line with the will of God, may God answer uh, the desires of this person. Mighty Redeemer, thank you that you are always available. Lord, we thank you that as we pray, you will give the desires of our hearts. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you for helping. Thank you, and Jesus. And thank you, Lord, that prayers are answered today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So another one is saying here, I've, I've, I've been uh, looking for a job. I, I'm really in need. I'm unemployed. Um, I'm, during this lockdown, it's heavy for me. I also need food parcels. This person is sending this text from Tembisa. And we are here in Rustenburg. You can just see uh, how, what is happening in our country during this time of lockdown. The person is sending the message from Ivory Park in Tembisa. Says, I'm in need of food. I'm unemployed. Can we pray for, for this person, please? Father, we thank you that you can take nothing and make out of it something. Thank you for an idea of gaining wealth in a godly way. Father, we thank you during this time where there is starvation, where people are frustrated, where people does not know which way to get money. Lord, that you will do a miracle during this time. Oh, yes. Lord, we pray for individuals that's in the same situation. Oh, that the God of heaven, yes. you who planted the gold underground, mm. you who put the platinum underground, oh, man, you who put the fish in the sea, Thank you, Jesus. you who put the coals of God in the mines, my God and my Savior, Thank you, Jesus. we believe you for a Godly breakthrough in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Amen. another person is, uh, is requesting. He says, please pray for me. I need to be fair to God. This person is from Lesotho. Uh, he says, please pray for me. Uh, I want to be fair to God. I, I, I want to believe that the prayer request of this person, he says, he just wants to serve the Lord faithfully. Uh, that, that, that's, that's my interpretation here. And I'm going to ask you, Mama, to pray for this person who say uh, that uh, she, he really wants to be fair to God and, and, and do live according to the will of God. Do the right thing and live the right life as God intended. Can we pray for? Bless the person Peter. send the message from Lesotho. From Lesotho. Thank you, God, that you touch every area and you touch everywhere in the world. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, any person like this person that acknowledged oh, is not fair to you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We know that the devil has got his hand in the life of this person. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. But today we pull it out. Yes, Lord. Leave the children of God, Satan. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for commitment. Oh, yes. We thank you, Lord, for living an honest and open life. Oh, yes. Lord, every person mm. that is true to you, yes, Lord, Lord, you will you. never allow mm. the enemy to triumph over them. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for grace and mercy. Another one is saying, I've been praying and hunting jobs, and, and nothing is happening. He says, I'm, I've tried all things, I've been praying, trusting the Lord, fasting, doing all these things. I, I, I'm asking that you pray for me, uh, please, apostle and prophetess, pray for me. This is the prayer request. Uh, Somebody is requesting that. Please pray for them. They are looking for employment and they could not see. Uh, some, nothing is happening 
uh, on their behalf, please. Father, thank you that you are the way maker. Oh, yes, Lord. You make a way where it seems to be no way. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord, that you are trusted. Thank you, Jesus. I pray, God, those that are trusting you for open doors for jobs. Thank you, Lord. Lord, those that are em unemployed, that you will give them ideas, that you will bless them, mm. that you will intervene for them. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your touch. Thank you, we Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the idea. Oh, yes, And Lord. we thank you, Lord, it shall come to pass. Oh, Maha, in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Another one is saying, I have the pain in my breath. Please pray for me. Father, we thank you. That healing is our bread. Oh God Almighty. Yes. You pain that's in that breast. The blood of Jesus. Yes. The power of God. Thank you Lord. The finger of God. Thank you Jesus. That's meant to you. Yes. And we declare total healing. Total healing. In Jesus name. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Mm. Another one is say I request you to pray for me. God to bless my business. And change my life also to quit smoking cigarettes. Amen. Yes, God never gave us chimneys. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Because we know that smoking destroys the life and shorten their lives. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you are, give them the desire to know you better. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, to pray more. And thank you, Lord, yes, Lord, that what we ask, we shall receive. We shall receive. Thank you, Lord, that you remove the thank taste you, Lord Jesus. of nicotine out of this person's life. In the name of as Jesus. As the person requested. Amen, amen. Amen. And another one is saying, I've been looking for a job since 2018. Please pray for me. I need it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That you remain the provider. Thank you that we can look unto you. Say, Lord, it is not the years. Thank you, Jesus. It is the intervention of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pray, God, that people will not faint. Yes, Lord. But they will hold on. Yes, Lord Jesus. You will make a way. Yes, Lord. You are true to your word. Yes, Lord. Is there anything too hard for me? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. As we continue praying without ceasing. Yes, Lord Jesus. There will be a breakthrough. There will be a breakthrough, In Lord. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Another one Amen. is saying, please, uh, just more prayers for my spiritual breakthrough, and, and empowerment, and development. He's requesting uh, prayers for spiritual breakthrough, uh, uh, spiritual empowerment, and also to develop in the things of faith, in spiritual things. Amen. Uh, uh, Father, we thank you that power belongs to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. The more we are connected to the word, yes, Lord Jesus. The more we are connected to prayer, yes, Lord Jesus. The more we are connected to God and in relating to you, situations will change in the mighty name because of Jesus. empowerment yes, Lord. comes through the knees. Yes, Lord Jesus. Through faithfulness. Yes, Lord. And through a God mm. and the relationship we have with you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for godly strength. Yes. No man can build a ministry on his own strength. In the name of Jesus. Unless it has been enforced by the powers of evil. Oh, my Kele, oh, but without the God, yes, Lord Jesus. we can do nothing. Jesus. But in thee, mm. we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Another one is saying, Shalom, Pastor Teta and Prophet Teta. Uh, I, 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 I've been looking for a job. I went for an interview a few weeks ago in Palamine uh, for a plant operator. I have not yet received any feedback. Please pray for me uh, to get this job. Amen. Mm. Father, we thank you. You are the one that knows the best for all of us. Yes, Lord Jesus. I pray God. That you will help this man as a plant operator. Lord, to sink deep in prayer. Yes, Lord Jesus. You open where it is shut. Yes, Lord. You can do what human mind cannot comprehend. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for help. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Lord and Jesus. And your intervention. Mm. Amen and amen. Amen. And I want some asking prayer for financial a breakthrough. He says, I'm in Coster. I'm asking prayer for financial breakthrough. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If we are committed to you, mm. Lord, you give us word. Yes, Lord. And that word is God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And that word is having power. Oh, glory, glory, We stand glory. on
on the word of God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Every promise is yea and amen. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, mm. that silver and gold belongs to you. Oh, yes, Lord. Help us to apply the word mm -hmm. so that the breakthroughs can be real. Yes. In our lives. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Another one is saying here, yeah, I've been laid off at work. Please, uh, I've been laid off where I'm waiting. Please pray for me. And then, uh, uh, so things can be better. Can we please pray for this one? Uh, she's probably broken and going through rough patches because of being laid off at work. Uh, can we pray for, for this Mighty one? Mighty Redeemer. Yes, Lord. Men can shift you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But you can pull us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for helping. Yes, Lord Jesus. If there was anything that was not godly, mm. forgive and have mercy. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for restoration amen. in her workplace. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. So, like I've been saying, we request that you send your prayer request live as we are streaming so that we can see them quickly. I have a few of them that were maybe uh, we could not see them on time but we're just going to pray for them uh, this one is saying i greet you in the name of jesus i'm asking for prayer prayers i'm struggling uh, my family i have a five-year-old boy uh, i can hardly support as we speak the child is not going to school uh, anymore i need help i need prayers please uh, uh, pray for me please pray for me can we pray for father in jesus name oh yes lord jesus lord our offspring will not suffer Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. We have a God that provides. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are the bread of life. Mm. You are the water for the thirst. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Only you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Can quench our thirst. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you are the anointed one and your anointing. Mm -hmm. Make a way, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Provide. Thank you, Lord. Intervene. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we pray. Yes, Lord Jesus. Let our prayers be answered. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, and yes, let Lord. God get the honor, oh, yes. the glory, and the adoration. We hook all children. Lord, even those in the streets. Thank you that there will be manna. There will be an abundance. Oh, glory. There will be a provision. Provision, provision. There will be the hand of God that works in mysterious in ways. In the name of Jesus. Whoever hears me pray, thank you, you're already heard. Thank you, Lord, that you work in the hearts of men and the hearts of women that we will share what we have. Oh, yes. Lord, that is what you did. You shared your life for humankind on Calvary. Take your honor. Take your glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, Amen. Another one is saying here, I'm in, I'm, I'm in intern. I'm in, I'm in administration internship. I pray that they take me permanently. Can we pray? Can we pray for her also? Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You make a way. Oh, yes. Lord, it is not our qualifications. Oh, yes, Lord. It is our commitment. Thank you, Lord. And the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That gives us favor. Mm. Thank you for the provision of this job. Mm. Amen and amen. Amen. So another one is saying here, I'm, 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 I'm in Muscle Bay. I'm, I'm in Muscle Bay. I'm doing business. I'm selling the plastic pots. I need godly intervention. In Jesus' name, please uh, pray for me. Please pray for me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, Mosul Bay is in the Western Cape. Lord, we thank you that you are able to give business to your daughter. Father, I glorify you. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. That you will work in ways today. That your name might be glorified. Oh yes Lord. As she's selling the pots. Thank you for the hands. That are receiving. And in exchange give the money. Thank you that you are trusted God. Because prayer. Has got no distance. And you work in ways. Lord. That the mind cannot comprehend. Thank you. I know it is season. 
And I know, Susan, your breakthroughs on this day arrived in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So, uh, those were those uh, prayer points that you sent uh, in our inbox. And we, we thank God for those prayer points. We have prayed for them. And uh, we trust the Lord that the good Lord will do you well. So we want to advise you that send them also live as we are streaming. Uh, so we can quickly pick them up and pray for you immediately uh, during the streaming. And, and the broadcast here. And, and, and trust the Lord with you as you are watching. Whilst you are being also inspired by the word of the Lord. And, and God Almighty will do you well. So we want to appreciate you for uh, connecting, sending those prayer requests. You will be back again here next week. 10 o'clock and like I said to you uh, that one of the signs of an answered prayer is to be thankful, is to be thankful and that is why here yeah, when Paul writes to the Thessalonian churches he's saying, they're saying rejoice forever pray without ceasing and says be thankful always, now you need to understand he says there that for this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus, this is the will of God, now when you thank God now for prayers that have been made for you uh, from this altar, when you begin to thank God, you are saying, Father, I believe Mark eleven twenty four that says, pray, and whatever you ask in prayer, you have already uh, received it. It shall be manifested unto you. And so we want to challenge you, continue to rejoice, pray without ceasing, and give God thanks at all times. So we thank God for you. Thank God for that you connected. We appreciate you. Uh, and we are so, so, so uh, glad that you were with us, uh, uh, connecting, enjoying the word. And we trust God that you will connect again in our next services that will be coming tomorrow morning at Ziba. And also all our uh, messages, you will find them on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, we are there. So visit our website and uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh, follow and like our YouTube, uh, our, our Facebook page. Uh, and the good Lord will do you well. So we, we want to appreciate you. We thank God for you. We say uh, have a blessed day and, and continue to pray without ceasing. Uh, pray at all times. Pray without ceasing. Pray at all times. This is your nature. This is your breath. As you continue to uh, uh, pray, you are breathing. Uh, if you stop praying, you are dying. If you stop praying, it's like you lose the breath. You lose uh, that, that breathing capacity. Prayer is what will help you to mine everything that God has put in place for you. It's like that pick, it's like that uh, 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 shovel that you use to take out the minerals out. The minerals are already there. God has already put them under the ground. You just, you just use, you need tools uh, to dig them and, and access them. Now when you pray, you are like that person who is underground who is searching for those minerals using those tools. Now, prayer is the tool that will help you to access what God has already made available for you. So, God bless you. We love you. Shalom. Oh, come down, my Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, come down my Lord.